Today, you're gonna build your first chatbot. The one that you're gonna build is the one that you see here next to me, and I'm gonna show you how surprisingly easy this is. So for this, we're gonna use Python. We're gonna use a Python library called Gradio. We're gonna use Langchain, and of course, we're gonna use a large language model. Let's get started. In the description of this video, you will find a link to my website, and on my website, you can download all the code examples. I'm first gonna start with installing all the dependencies, so just click here on this icon, navigate back to VS Code, open a terminal, and then paste the line item right here and press enter. Now let's create a new file called main.py and copy the code right in there. And now let's create a second file called .env and this is where we're gonna store all our API keys. And then just copy this piece of code right here. Okay, let's first take a look at the code. So at the top of our file, we are importing all our libraries. So we use um, .env to make sure that we can store the API keys in a separate file, uh, the .env file. Then we import uh, Langchain, and then here we import Gradio SGR. And then we also have to load the .env file, and we do that with the function load.env. So just enable the large language model that you want to use. So at this moment, Anthropic is enabled, but if you want to go for um, JGPT, for example, from OpenAI, you can just enable it like this, right? And you see here the system message, and you can use the system message to give the LLM a bit of a context about the conversation. At this moment, I'm asking it to act like an astronaut. Then you see here a demo interface, and this is where I configure the actual chatbot. Then you see here auto scroll is true, and this will make sure that the window keeps scrolling as, as long as you and the LLM keep talking to each other. And of course, you can configure way more parameters here. You can all find them on the website of Gradio. Then at the bottom, we actually um, deploy our chatbot, and I'm going to tell a bit more about this piece of code in a second. So you will see here that every time that you send a message to the large language model, the function stream response is called, and that's this function. And what we're basically doing here is we make a chain of all messages that you have sent to the LLM and the LLM has been sending back to you in the Langchain format. And this will make sure that every time you send a new message to the large language model, the LLM is aware of the entire conversation. Now, before we can deploy our chatbot, we first have to generate an API key. And I'm gonna start with showing you how this works with OpenAI. Um, you see that we are using the GPT-40 mini model. So let's generate an API key. And in order to do that, we navigate to this URL. You can find the link in the description of this video. And in order to build this chatbot together with me, you don't need any premium subscription from both Anthropic and ChatGPT. You just need to have some balance on your account. So just make sure that you have like $5 or something on your account. And then I'm gonna click here and create a new secret key. And I'm just gonna provide a description. And after you have generated the API key, just click here on copy, navigate back to VS Code.env file. Then I'm gonna comment this one and use OpenAI. Now if you want to use the Anthropic model, you just navigate to this URL, click here on create key, and the process works entirely the same. Now let's run the script and you will see that if you have set this uh, parameter to true, you will get a security notification from Windows. And you see that I get a Windows security message right here, so just double click on it. And then you can click here on actions, allow on device. It still wasn't able to create a shareable link, so I'm just gonna run the script again. And now you will also get the URL I was talking about earlier. And this URL you can share with your friends and family. And this is where we will get the actual chatbot. <laughs> I hope this video was useful for you. If it was, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.